and welcome. It's Intuition Tuesday, August uh, 13th, 2024. Normally I do this as a blog post and today I thought it might be fun to do it um, via video. So first let me pick out the, the, the deck to use. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, we're going to use the metal deck. Okay, so the way this is going to work is I will show three cards. Uh, you'll just see the backs at first and um, let you figure out which one you feel pulled to, towards, and then I'll reveal them and their message. And I'm going to play along too, so I'm gonna do my best to, when I show the back of the cards that I don't see them either. Okay, so, and it's all about which one what do you feel has a message that you need to hear at this time? Okay. All right, so let's split the deck. One, two, three. Use the top cards. This is one. Okay. So this is card number one. One. Sit it down that way. Okay. This is card number two. And this is, oop, I'll stay down. Card number three. So which one do you feel pulled towards? For me, I keep hearing the number one, so I'm gonna feel pulled to number one. Which is, I'm gonna put my glasses on so we can see, I can read. Okay, so number one, um, the card is tranquil. No, I have a feeling I know where this one's going. <laughs> Uh, let's see, 67. Make being tranquil a habit. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, as somebody who is uh, in a constant state of hypervigilance, which I am working to change, this is a good card. As a matter of fact, I just watched a video earlier about 11 different ways to calm anxiety. And um, so for any of you that this is your card, uh, one, of the, one of the ways he said is to uh, move. Another is to put your hand on the part where you're feeling the anxiety and breathe into it. Um, sing or hum. Um, also, if you are into um, EFT or tapping, Doing, you don't even have to say anything. Just do the tapping, go through, and it'll calm you down. So here we go. Be calm. All right, so those of you pick number two, it is backstage. That seems like a weird card, but I understand what this is. Um, oh, that's interesting. Uh, embrace vulnerability. And my sense with that is that um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. And by you being vulnerable or allowing yourself to be vulnerable, that allows, number one, others to see that and experience that from you. And it opens up other people to be vulnerable with you and you wind up learning more about yourself and the people around you by doing so. Let me see if there's something else. Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. And then card number three is pretty. Um, well, they're all pretty, but this one is lots of color. Presence. Presence. Um, not gifts. Presence, like your presence. Um, uh, yeah, with the S-E-N-C-E, -E, presence. All right. <laughs> Although presence wouldn't be bad. Uh, gifts, which I'll say was 41. How do you want to make your presence known? Ooh, yeah. How do you want to make your presence known? How do you, um, do you want to shy away do you want to yeah do you want to hide out or do you want to put yourself out there or somewhere in between do you want to put yourself out there as um 
confident, funny, intelligent, goofy, lazy. Oh, anyway, it's yours to call. It's, oh, it's weird. With my glasses, that looks like a heart shape. But um, ponder how you want to put yourself out there and how you want people to see you. Okay, anything else to add to that? No. So, hope you found that fun, uh, interesting, um, or that it was of some help. Take care. Until the next time. Bye-bye.